All right, let me just say this, plain and simple. This is the best transfer that I have seen from such an old movie, iconic, classic, such an old movie, one and only, a 2001 Space Odyssey, or 2001 A Space Odyssey. And listen, Christopher Nolan took the original film and he remastered it. He worked really hard on it and he remastered this beautiful masterpiece for both uh, 4K USD Blu-ray for the Dolby Vision and of course Apple TV 4K. Now, I'm using an Apple TV 4K comparison here and uh, I have to tell you, I'm just blown away. I'm using my OLED here and it just looks... <laughs> Maybe I can play you. I, look, I'm not going to. I'm not going to monetize this video. Let's just watch this for a little bit. I don't care. It just looks bananas. It just looks beautiful. Considering how old this movie, as you noticed, I'm using a Dolby Vision uh, Cinema Home uh, mode on this OLED, and look at the, these deep dark levels. Just look how beautiful this is from each angle. Uh, I, I'm just blown away, guys. You have no idea. Uh, how beautiful this transfer is it's just bananas uh, for a movie that's that's this old we're talking movie since 1960 late 1960s and look at this this is how you do a proper restoration for a movie let me bring it a little bit closer there's that famous scene uh, I mean it's just uh, it's crazy. Like I said, this video will not be monetized. I understand that all the proceeds will go to uh, Warner Brothers. I'm just doing this because I'm just trying to let you know if you love this movie, if you love, I mean, this, this movie I grew up with, this is it. The first movie I saw when I opened my eyes was this movie, 2001 Space Odyssey, and this just looks unbelievably clean. I mean, it's just beautiful, man. Look at the sky, look at, look at his hair and everything. It's just, it's almost like it was shot yesterday. Great job, Christopher Nolan. He really did a fantastic job here on this Dolby Vision. And it's true, he worked on it, and he was, uh, he's a huge fan of this movie, like many others, obviously, but uh, fantastic job here, man. <sighs> Amazing. We're going to pause it right there, and uh, I just want to say, wow, 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 wow. I mean, uh, look, OLED guys, listen, I want to say a couple of things. If you love movies... Organic light emitting diodes are great. Yes, granted, I wasn't 100% sure when I had my 2016 and 2017 OLED from LG. But this year, I mean not this year, but last year, LG has improved their OLED panels. Okay, And now that I have this new LG OLED, I can tell you, that they have improved the OLED panels much, much, much better, okay? Yes, there's potential risk of burning, yes. But if you take a good precautions, if you know what you're doing, I guarantee you will not have that burning, okay? I think the burning has been exaggerated too much, too much. And I've been guilty of it there and myself too because I bought into that crap I bought into that bullshit too much yes there's a risk of burning but it's too much exaggeration going on behind that if you love movies this is it get yourself an OLED LCD cannot ever produce this type of detail so listen this movie looks fucking fantastic excuse my language the best transfer ever, period. Great job, Christopher Nolan. Cheers.